Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is Joseph here back with another LEGO Star Wars video here today on Texas Bricks. And today guys, we're going to be talking about all of the new rumored LEGO Star Wars minifigures that we're supposed to be getting next year in 2022. So let's get right into the video, shall we? Now getting into the first set for today's video here, we have the Hoth Battle Pack, which is supposed to be 15 US dollars. For this set, we're supposed to be getting four different LEGO Star Wars minifigures, three of which are supposed to be Imperial Snowtroopers, so pretty basic there. And then the other minifigure we're supposed to be getting in this set is the Imperial Scout Trooper, except that this Scout Trooper is going to be a little bit different than past versions. It is supposed to have a Snow Trooper body instead of the typical Scout Trooper body. The next set here is the Razor Crest Micro Fighter. This is obviously a $10 pretty small set. And for the sole minifigure of this set, we were supposed to be getting Beskar Mando. So this is pretty simple. Getting into another original trilogy Hoth set here, we have the rumored Hoth ATST, which I believe is supposed to be 50 US dollars. For the minifigures, we are supposed to be getting three of them in this set. One of them is a Hoth Rebel, another is Chewbacca, and the final minifigure is an ATST driver. The next rumored set here is the Death Star fight scene. This is supposed to be 60 US dollars. As far as this set though, we don't really know anything about the minifigures. I imagine that maybe we can get a Stormtrooper or two or a TIE pilot or two, something like that. Maybe some Rebel pilot, Luke Skywalker, who knows. But otherwise, we know it's a Death Star fight scene, so who knows what could be in this set. Next up, getting to the set that I'm most looking forward to for this next year, we have Boba's Palace. This is pretty simple, it's just Jabba's Palace, except from the Book of Boba Fett. As far as the minifigures go, I mean, we can assume that we're going to be getting Boba Fett in Boba's Palace, that just makes sense, right? But as far as other minifigures, things can kind of go anywhere from there. I mean, we could get the Mandalorian again in his Beskar armor. It's possible, but maybe not that likely, because who knows if he's going to be in the show. Not to mention, we're already getting him in the Razor Crest Microfighter. We could get Fennec Shan, though. I think she's supposed to be in that show, so that certainly makes sense. But again, who knows? I imagine that we will most definitely get Boba Fett, though. We are also rumored to be getting some accessory packs next year. These are all supposed to be $15, and we're getting two of them. We don't know about anything as far as the minifigures go. They could be from the original trilogy. They could be from the Clone Wars, the Bad Batch, the Mandalorian, whatever. But regardless, there's supposed to be about four minifigures for each pack. So we have eight random minifigures that we currently do not know about. But I'm sure we could all speculate about what we could possibly get. Getting into the next set here, we are rumored to be getting a UCS Luke's Land Speeder later in 2022. And as far as the minifigures for this set, we are supposed to be getting R2-D2 and Farm Boy Luke. And for the final rumored set that we know about currently that has minifigures, we have Yoda's Training here. This set is supposed to be rather large. It's supposed to be 80 US dollars, which is pretty expensive for a set like this. Um, recently, we got Yoda's Hut a couple years ago, right? So as far as what this set is, who knows? But as far as the minifigures, we don't know exactly what's in it yet. But imagine we could speculate that Yoda is going to be in Yoda's Training. That just makes sense, right? Also, Luke Skywalker from Dagobah. Um, as far as what Luke we get, maybe we get him in his training outfit or in his X-Wing outfit. Who knows, but Luke Skywalker is pretty much most certain to be in this set. And then also r 2 would make perfect sense to be in this kind of set. Anyways though guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. This is pretty short, pretty informative, but I feel like it's important to know just what kind of minifigures we're going to be getting. And it's exciting too if you like minifigures like I do. But otherwise guys, make sure to comment down below what did you guys think about today's video. What do you guys think about these minifigures? All that good stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe to support my channel. And have a fantastic day my friends. I will see you all next time on Texas Bricks.